name is Nancy Lyons and I coordinate a project for the DC Department of Public Works called Murals DC and it's a graffiti prevention program to help fight the, um, the cycle of tagging on buildings. We devote a, a significant amount of money to cleaning graffiti and so in 2007 when um, the city was seeing an uprise in a lot of different uh, graffiti bombers uh, the council member at that time decided that they might want to, we should try something creative. We find that in most cases, when we're able to put a mural on someone's wall, we sit down with the owner, talk about design concepts, we go to the community, get them invested into the art design, work with a, an artist, and put up an original work of art. There seems to be some level of respect amongst the graffiti artists. So the first thing that I do as a coordinator is I try to find the walls. While I'm trying to find wall donations, the Commission on Arts is issuing an, a call for artists and artists are applying for the program. Half of our projects typically are working with artists that are local, but we've also worked with artists who've lived all over the world. The city is known mainly for three basic things, you know, museums, monuments, and federal government. It would be great if it's also known for its great art landscape. Yeah, I just, I can have it flow behind Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that's My name is Sania Khan Udofia, and I am here at um, the famous Ben's Chili Bowl working on a new mural in collaboration with Murals DC. I've been working in collaboration with Murals DC since 2007. Murals and street art is very good for DC, especially now because some of the murals, they kind of tell you about the people. I think it's very important that a lot of programs support artists. I think as long as there's something like Murals DC that is paving the way, hopefully other organizations will then come in and start working with artists. There are different art forms over time. You know, you have the Renaissance, the uh, contemporary, and, and amongst those art forms is graffiti, is street art now, and also murals. So with murals, they're commissioned mostly, you know, and it's like more orchestrated. Sometimes it tells a story or a history. And then you have graffiti, which is the art of lettering and just making an, a letter a piece of art. And then you have street art. Now street art is a free form, meaning it's a 100% the artist's expression. From what I understand about graffiti, you have a tag, a throw up, and then you have a piece. So one can go over another, but in terms of the hierarchy, the, sometimes the reason why people don't go over murals is because like going over a well done beautiful mural it goes outside of graffiti at that point it's just that you hate beautiful renderings another reason why some street art or murals are not tagged or gone over is also the respect that the graffiti world has for the artists themselves and especially their contribution to the city or the environment they're in the community plays a huge role in um, what we do. So every piece we do, we really do our best to make sure that we are being sensitive and thoughtful about who has to see this every day and how they're going to embrace this. It's our program called Murals DC. Uh, I just want to thank you guys, man. I want to let you know I'm honored to be home and that this means an enormous amount to me and my family. I'm very proud of it. So much love, everybody, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.